Guys. <laughs> it all went wrong. Why is this happening? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am basically... Um, I am dyeing my hair. Well, I'm basically sorting my hair out. I would just like to say, if any hairdressers are watching, I am sorry. I'm not claiming that this is the right thing to do. I am not claiming that this is how you should get your hair balayaged or how you should balayage your hair or whatever. And I know you can go back to the hairdressers now. I know that everyone is going to the hairdressers, but I don't want to. And I don't want to spend 80 quid plus getting my hair done because I just spent that on getting roller skates. <laughs> anyway, as you would have seen in the past, I've been on a pink hair journey back in like March, early March, I got my hair balayaged. I had two sets of balayage done to get it bright enough for pink to hold. The pink I wanted didn't hold, and then obviously lockdown happened, so I had to sort it out myself. So I started using the Arctic Fox in virgin pink, but now I just dilute it down so that I can get the color that I want, because when I first did it, I mean, if you saw the video, it was bright. Right. So I do dilute it down slightly and then every two weeks I just top it up. It doesn't necessarily need it every two weeks, it fades down quite nicely, but I just want to keep that vibrance, I just feel like it loses the vibrance a little bit and starts to look a bit dull, even though my hair's pink. So that's just my choice, I top it up every two weeks. So today I'm going to be touching up the balayage, I'm actually going to be cutting just the front bit. I'm not going to do anything to the length, I like my hair longer, like you can see now it's got so much longer when I first had it done back in March I think it was up here my hair grows pretty quick pretty quick I want to keep it long so I don't actually trust myself to cut my hair myself I mean I've gone nearly a year without having my hair cut I'm not bothered about that but the front bit as you can see <laughs> this is the length <laughs> this is the length of what my fringe was and that was like here I think so yeah, we need to basically chop that off. I did always used to cut the front of my hair, so I'm used to doing that. Just so I can get the shape back, because I don't wear it like this anymore, as you've probably seen in my videos. I just wear it like up in a little top knot to get it out of my face. But anyway, the time has come for me to sort this out. Probably gonna take me hours and hours because I have so much hair. <laughs> as you can see, I hope this makes sense to you. Bear with me. You can see here that the balayage that I had done probably stops around here. So where the bright pink is, that's where the bleach was. But because I have been putting the pink in, the pink does actually lighten it slightly. So if I were to put the pink, this Arctic Fox pink on my roots, it would turn my roots red. And then when it fades, as you can see here, it looks kind of blonde, especially where you can see my roots. That's not all bleach. The bleach on my roots actually starts here. This is probably a better example. So you can see there's like three levels to this. So you've got my actual root, you've got where I put the pink, blended like the root and the bleach together, and then you can see where it was bleached. So my aim is to get the bleach back up to where like the pink on my roots is. I'm gonna try and balayage it kind of. I just wanna basically blend that together. And the thing is with this is it's very forgiving. As my hair's been growing out, I have used the pink as you can see here, all of that is root. I hope that made sense. If you're gonna get this done, like if you want your hair pink or you wanna lighten your hair, 100% go to the hairdressers, get them to professionally do it because you need someone professional to lighten the color. Like I would not recommend doing that at home, not at all. But in terms of a touch up and just touching up like two inches worth, I'm just gonna do that myself. I'm using the Crazy Color bleaching kit. I don't know if it's the best one in the world, but I've used it in the past. I used to use this when I did my ombre years and years ago, I used to use it. I actually used it to lighten mum's hair. So I highlighted and I basically like got mum from brunette to blonde over lockdown. Got loads of gloves. We bought these for doing mum's hair, which I just got from Sally's. It's just like a family pack of brushes. I would recommend getting good brushes because the ones that you get in the pack, it's not that good. Like this is the one that you get in the pack and it's just like really hard. Bristles and then the ones that we got here, they're just so much softer and finer and they just feel a lot nicer. Um, you've got variations. This is the main one that I used. It's got the point on the end, but I've also got a brush which got a point on the end as well. My hair is so dirty. It's unbelievable. I haven't done anything to it in terms of styling. I've just taken it out of the bun 
and this is what we got. You should not wash your hair before you bleach it. Go with like two or three day old hair. Mine's been four days, so yeah. Just read it's gonna protect your hair more if it is dirtier because you've got the oils that are gonna hopefully like, you know, give your hair a little bit of help. So there are elements to my hair that have annoyed me. So because they balayaged it, they did leave little bits. Like as you can see, this bit of hair was actually the same color as my root, but now it's kind of like a lighter brown, only because of the amount that I've been dyeing it. With these, like they do 100% lighten your hair, so just be careful. So I'm gonna pick out those and I will bleach those all the way down. As you can see, there are quite a lot of dark bits under here. And I'm basically gonna pick out all of the bits that weren't bleached and I'll try my best not to get any of the pink because I don't want to ruin my hair anymore. It's been four months since I've had my hair last bleached. The poor front of my hair is frazzled. The one bit that I straighten is the front bit here. As you can see, it's quite frizzy. It does break off. I will take it up here, but I will just try my best to avoid these poor little frazzled bits. If I do those bits, it will be right at the end for the least amount of time because I'm nervous for my poor hair. I bought two of these because my hair is so thick. We'll see how much I get through. The reason that I feel semi-confident doing this is um, A, I did mums, but B, I did watch a few videos, but when I'm at the hairdresser, because I'm there for so long, it takes them so long to do this, I just watch what they're doing. And because when I had this done, it was done by a trainee. So I'm listening to what they're saying so that I'm kind of like learning myself a little bit. Listen and learn, I guess. The next time I wash my hair before I do, I'm gonna leave in the Olaplex because that's obviously just gonna give my hair that nutrients that it needs. We'll be back combing so that we get a nice blend. I have got a balayage board. I've got like old shorts on. I've got a dust sheet down and I'm going to be wearing an old t-shirt. I don't know. I'm gonna try. We're gonna have a go. I will see you on the other side. <laughs> Wish me luck. Guys, it all went wrong. No, I'm joking. Um, can anyone see how much my eyes are watering? Am I having a reaction? 
I've got a fan on anyway, just to keep the air moving. Why is this happening? I've nearly been going nearly two hours. So that underneath has nearly been on for two hours. I need to do a little bit more of this section at the top and then it's just the front section. Oh, hi team. My eyes are still going crazy. I have to put a little bit more in because I've used all of this up. So I'm going to do half, as thankfully with these you get two sachets, so I'm going to do half. I was going to change my contact lenses, but I'm just going to power on through. Oh, I need to get out of this room, I think, for the minute. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah. I am done on the bleaching front. My eyes feel like they're gonna like fall out of my head. I started at three, it's now 20 past six. These bits under here, I mean, they'll only go as far as they'll go in terms of color, I'm not too bothered. I just don't want them to break off. Like my fear is that I just go to take it off and then all the pink just comes off. That's my fear. But yeah, I'm quite excited, we'll see. I will probably leave it about another 40 minutes or so, I don't know. I'm gonna keep an eye on the front because that's like my most delicate part. So I'll keep an eye on it around the front here because I don't want any of this to break off. I'll do that and then I will wash it all off and then we'll see where we are. Okay team, it is now seven o'clock. It's been, what, about half an hour, 35 minutes since I put it on the top. I think it's lifted it enough for the pink to hold. So I'm gonna take it off and then I'm gonna run some of the Fanola No Yellow Shampoo through that as well. And then I will dry it and show you where we are. Hello, so, okay, ignore what I look like. I look like one of those sweets, what are they called? Your drumsticks, I look like a drumstick. I mean, I don't wanna, I say I don't want to, obviously I do wanna blow my own trumpet, but I know it's kind of yellowy, but in terms of the blend, I have a purple scalp. <laughs> oh my God, I think it looks a lot better. I don't know what it looks like from the back. But oh, the back's not too bad. Ah. Oh. So some bits are white, as you can see, some bits are yellow. Oh, but when I have it around like that, well, that's gonna be pink. I'm so thrilled. I had this like awful feeling that I was gonna do it and it was gonna be patchy and it was gonna be awful, but it's not. No idea how I did that. So top tip for you, when you're at the hairdressers, watch what they're doing. 
rather than just zone out on your phone because then you'll have an idea if you want to do it at home. That rhymed. So I'm going to put the pink on now. I'm not going to film myself doing it here only because oh, I have food in my teeth. No! Anyway, I did film myself doing it when I tested it in a video so I will link that down below if you want to see me applying this. I'm basically going to do the same thing. Basically just go over everything as neatly as I can. Then I'm going to leave it on for an hour. I am going to dilute it down um, but I'm not going to do it in here because because there's white walls and a carpet and a clumsy girl so I'm not gonna do that it actually feels really nice like it doesn't feel too bad considering I've just bleached it that's quite cool though isn't it I'm gonna basically just follow it really carefully make sure that I don't get any of my roots because I don't want my roots to go red I want to keep that like really dark root and then that really pink color which is what I like such a fluffy situation okay it's just dried it all but if you can see on the top it looks quite warm I don't know if you can see it as well on camera it's a bit more like orangey toned in certain places I think it's because I diluted the dye down with like a different conditioner I think I probably diluted it down a bit too much so what I'll do in the morning, like first thing, is just run some pink over the orangey bits. This is not on all of it, like some of it does look good. I think it's just literally where I've mixed up more dye, it's gone like more orange. So in terms of like everything else though, I'm pretty happy. It's just, yeah, it's a bit orangey, so it's a shame. I like this makeup. Such a frizzy mess. <laughs> is this my hair crying or coming out in its true form? I don't quite know. Hi. So it's now, um, yeah, the next day. As you saw in the vlog footage, I think I diluted the pink down too much. It was coming through really orange. There are still sections here, like where it is a little bit yellowy. I don't know whether I didn't leave the bleach on long enough. I was nervous because I just didn't want my hair to fall out, really. That was it. Or I don't know whether I didn't use the purple shampoo for long enough and it just kept it really yellow brassy tones. I'm not too sure but it's fine like there are a few bits that are still seeping through but all in all it's okay. I'm happy with it and I'm thinking that it's going to be a really really sunny few days coming up. I'm going to have a hat on and stuff anyway so it that was a chair so that it protects the hair but it probably will lighten it a little bit anyway. So I've styled it but what I haven't styled is this front section. This front bit is what I am going to cut. Now I know that a lot of people would cut hair wet. I appreciate that, but I am not most people. Every time I've cut my hair, I've done it dry. So I've just got some scissors. I'm not gonna go wild. I've basically got this whole front section. I might get a few more bits. All I'm gonna do is go at it like this yeah, just take some length off. I can't see anything now. Hello, how do we use these? So it's not very eventful, it's not very exciting. I've done it before. So if you chop into it like this, it's not going to be like a dead straight line. So that's why I always make sure that I chop up into hair. I say that like I cut hair all the time. Yeah, I don't want like an obvious straight line. Okay, we've got to keep going. God, my hair's grown a lot. Oh my god, my stomach is rumbling. Can you hear it? Oh, can you calm down? Okay, I think that's gonna be about the right length. What I do is I bring it here so that if I wear my hair like central, then I know that that's gonna be okay. If I decide to wear it over this way, which I never do, but mainly I wear it over this way, but then even because I've cut it down the middle, it's gonna get that nice layered effect. I don't wanna have it too short because I do style it up. But that's about how much I took off. That's not a big task. Just I thought I would show you on camera anyway how I freshen up the front of my hair. That's the first time I've done that since I had it cut in March. So March, April, May, June, July. 
four months worth of growth. That's why it had really grown down and why I wasn't styling it like this anymore. Whenever I had my hair chopped up to like here, she did it central because then that way I could do it either side and it just gives me that freedom so it's not like I have to wear my hair in a certain way. I'm not like restricted to one style. So I'm gonna just style this front bit and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've styled the front of my hair. I put a little bit of oil through the front bit here on my super frizzy, delicate, damaged hair. But yeah, this is the final hair. I'm pretty chuffed really. Yeah, I really like it. I hope you guys do too. It saved me. Saved me a lot of money at the old hairdressers. So I'm pleased. I'm not saying that anything that I did, like everything that I was doing was like correct or like of salon quality or salon standard. I know that a lot of the color here, you can see it's still a little bit orange. Elements like that, I'm not a colorist. I'm not a hairdresser. To be honest with you, for the sake of saving that much money, it's worth it for me just to do it at home myself. But like I say, if you are planning on getting anything like this done, especially for the major lifting, like all of that you see that's pink has been bleached because it doesn't take obviously to how dark my hair was but if you're gonna go for something like this go professional I'm happy to just touch it up myself though but for the main bulk of lifting definitely go to professional 100% yeah I hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up I hope you like the new hair well same hair but just touched up really let me know what you think I'm sure that it will fade out again with the pink and everything but I hope everyone is safe I hope you are staying safe if you are going to hairdressers then make sure you're wearing your mask I mean you can't go without wearing it but you know be safe thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already because we are nearly at 14k and it's very 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 exciting like i never thought like it's just insane it's insane so thank you everyone who has subscribed but if you haven't subscribed you're watching my videos and you haven't subscribed like why not you're missing out and if you haven't got that notification bell on you're missing out because i upload twice a week and you don't want to miss out on one of my videos if you did get this far in the video here we are i've done one of these in the world blah, 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 blah. if you got this far in the video please comment hair down below so that i know it's just really interesting to see how many people get this far in the video and how many just tail off so thank you guys so much for watching uh stay safe and i will see you in the next one bye yeah, you hair who this? Uh, I did it myself and I saved some money and I didn't get coronavirus because I did it myself and I was safe because I did it myself at home. Yeah, mm -hmm. risk free. I am risk free. I am doing my hair myself and I'm risk free. <laughs>